Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm getting ready to do some work on the tractor mounted engine hoist, but before I do that I want to fix the saw a little bit. Well to get this set up so that I can put it on the back of the saw, I need to cut off a section here. Now if I had a huge press brake, I probably could bend that quarter by three and a quarter by two and a half and make a nice little bend in it. But seeing as how I don't have that, I'm going to make this into a two-piece assembly. I'm going to... This little saw didn't have wheels on the back. All it's got is just the frame. Now, rather than dragging this thing around on the, rather than dragging this thing around on the legs all the time, I thought if I put a caster back here. It looks something like this. Then it would sit down on the legs, and the minute I picked up the front end, it would be on the caster. Having it only on two wheels, even though they're fixed wheels, I'll still be able to wheel it around like a handcart. Now this chunk of steel is off a chair. It used to hold up the arms on a barber chair. But since I don't have a need for a barber chair, but I do have a need for a couple of wheel casters, I'm going to use it back here. I'm going to cut this along that line, take off these little bits of uh, steel here, probably have to just grind the welds off and cobble them up. But then I'm going to set this on the floor so that it's lined up straight and flat, put this cut off section up against the uh, back side of the leg, set it on the top of this plate, weld it from this, weld these two pieces together, a couple of tacks, then I'll pick it up, put it on the weld bench, and finish welding it out. That way when I have it done, I'll have a piece that bolts onto this and kicks out like that. to hold that wheel. I think it's going to work pretty darn good. Now I'm also going to round off the edges of this and, and I'll probably use the plasma cutter and, and radius those edges so that I won't bark my shins on them. But this is an area that I walk through a whole lot anyways because it's got the motor and everything over the top of it. These casters were $2.99 at Harbor Freight. I intended to just make some wheels and mount them on the back of this, but when I saw them for three dollars, I thought I'll spend more than an hour's time making a wheel. Three bucks, save an hour, well worth the investment. That way I'll be able to pick up the front end of the saw and wheel it around. Now before I start this cut, I want to make a change to the switch. The saw was built with an automatic shutoff, which consists of a little bar that fastens to the front of this upper arm. That little bar, when it reaches the bottom of the stroke, touches that switch and turns it off. But it's been adjusted so that it doesn't fit anymore. And the other thing that's happened is it's gotten bent. slide this down so that it will hit that switch. Just 
set it off and not rest on the switch. There's some free spot. There's some free space between the switch and this tab when it shuts off. That way I can just put a piece of steel in it and let it cut. I want to have this piece of tubing attached to the sides of the saw so that I have protection for the front of the saw. And also I have a good handle that I can pick this thing up and move it around with without having to grab a hold of the frame and drag it. It's going to require bending these arms in a little bit, but I think I can do that without too much trouble. I'm making a mount that's going to go on both sides of this so that I can hook this right onto the sides of that frame. But first, I want to get those pieces cut off. Now I screw this up. And so it begins. About 20 minutes of really frustrating stuff. Ended up having to reset the blade five times before I finally got it so that it would stay on the saw long enough to make the cut. That vise needs work. But I've got the two plates cut off, both at the same length. Now I just need to get these bars off of there and I'm good to go. I think I can just cut these bars off right there. Yeah, I'm getting a bunch of junk built up on that blade. I need to mount some brushes on that blade right underneath that little metal plate so that I can clean those rollers, make sure that I don't get a build up on them. Wheels within wheels. These jobs always seem easy to start with. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.